Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the Testing Academy. Today, we are going to cover the 10 plus more questions that you have asked. Basically, the question that you have asked, and I'm going to basically give you my inputs on this case, right? Very, very important questions. So just check it out. And let's start with the first question. So first question is basically asked by S. John. When will get the calls of software testing? And when will this recession end? Very, very important question. Actually, nowadays, I know many of you are asking me, promoter, when this recession will go and when will this uh, jobs will start, right? Yes. See, I think positive news point of view is that yes in april many companies are actually got a new budget guys now there are job openings which are basically there especially for experienced people for fresher i can still see there is a less number of the uh, jobs available but again two important points i would like to highlight which is uh, apply through the referrals if you need referral let me know in the chat just give me yes i'll give you an email id where you will basically can add your referrals right i will definitely add a referral if you have more than one year experience right even if you're a fresher let me know the so referrals and try to apply through the link method and other method that I have basically discussed, right? So regarding the recession, I think it is just started. I don't think there is an end date. I would suggest you to just focus on the learnings, right? This is the best time for you to increase your skills, right? And make sure you're taking some courses and also so that you can accelerate your process, right? This is a time for preparation, right? Apply wherever you see any kind of opening. Second important question, which is I think Anurag has asked how to grow career after 10 years. Okay, this is very, very important. I think there are only three paths after what you can do. See, I think if you have 10 years experience, right? As a manual tester on automation, I, I I'm assuming it's a manual tester most of the time. I think it's the right time for you to become a QA lead or a mentor where you will help other people, right? It can be sharing your knowledge through blogs. It can be sharing your information through videos, right? It can be anything, right? Second important point, I think do follow a principle which I generally follow, which is learn, do and teach. This is a triangle that I generally follow, right? So make sure after 10 years, I think it is the right time for you to do that. Another thing, I think what you really want to do is what exactly I can do in career, right? So that's what I would suggest. Now it, you are a subject matter expert probably in e-commerce domain or any kind of a banking domain right now it's time for you to learn important stuff for example if you're a manual tester learn about apis and automation if you are already an api and automation engineer learn about the leadership skills mentoring right what exactly managers do you can ask me also i can definitely guide you right uh, reach out to me through email i will definitely help you give you more inputs right but i have done like what i have done after 10 years uh, i think is mostly related to how to manage people this is one of the skills that i have to learn how to handle the architect level of automation, right? This is what I have learning. You can add more skills like Docker, AWS, right? Uh, even Azure, right? All the things, DevOps related things you can keep on adding. The more technical you will still be there, you will more relevant in the IT. So make sure your technical knowledge is not going down. If you're increasing your soft skills and everything, that is perfect. But your technical knowledge should not go down. That's a very important point. Okay. Let's move on to another question, which is, sir, can you please provide the three months course on to become automation tester? Very important. A quick announcement. I think automation tester blueprint batch. Recently, we have just uh, started it. So I think you can definitely jump to it. If you are someone who wanted to do it in a Python, so Python automation web, uh, blueprint batch is also getting started. Both of the links I will put you down in the chat or approximately three to four months. Our target is to become and learn about the Python or Java or API testing selling with CICD. This is a community driven program, live classes most of the time and few of the self paced course are also included. Do check them out. Links in the description. Okay. Now another question, which is by the Shubham Hadke. Can we do side hustle with the software testing job? I think yes, uh, this is uh, recently I have created a video around this, right? Why you should do a side hustle with your job. I think definitely you should do a side hustle. Side hustle basically means it doesn't mean exactly you will work for a new company, right? Like moonlighting. Moonlighting we are not doing. After nine to five job, we are working on five to nine nightly. Okay. And what we are doing is we are learning new things. We basically working on the things which we really like. For example, I like to create a blog. I like to create a uh, YouTube videos. I like to love reading or add new skills to my resume that you can basically try out or you can do some small freelancing projects also if you want to right? so that give you some monetary expects, right? Another thing side hustle. I think it's good one. If you can basically learn about the stocks, right? Technical things you can manage trading and all right. It's all about your passion, which will definitely in future with we think will basically go to replace your job. That's the ultimate goal for you, right? Yes or no? So another question, which is uh, Vankatesh is asking, if candidate is searching for a job for more than seven months, very frustrated uh, right now. He's very frustrated. What should we do? I know I can understand guys. I can understand your frustration because I know when I have started, right? I got rejected in 27 plus companies because see, I think if you're getting rejected for six, four, seven months, right? Just take it out. Why you 
are not getting your calls what is the core reason is it really a recession or your resume have a problem ask the hrs if there is a rejection right you can email them follow up with them like one or two times let them know why my resume was not selected what was the reason are you sending a journalized resume are you not sending proper resumes are you not properly following up with the hr many many reasons basically you are getting rejected you know many of my students who basically have these kind of issues where they will just have wrong approach to apply a particular job there is a process that you have to follow personalized resume plus keywords plus description and asking hrs and proper relationship with hr is actually the right process to get a job i think you are making some kind of mistakes i am attaching a free training okay there are true free trainings i am attaching which is resume review workshop and linkedin hacks and how to apply these are two free trainings in the description which are available or you can check out the pinned comment also just check it out i think those will be very very helpful for you another important thing is please don't lose hope try with referrals email id is given to you another last tip which i basically i would give you if you are applying and if you are frustrated right i think try with other profiles also for example not only the functional testing apply in rpa etl testing security testing penetration performance testing there are multiple other fields or domains within the automation or within the software testing you can try or to explore more of them right even mobile testing is there right so you can definitely try out okay awesome so kanish is asking next question which is how chat gpt can assist uh, in a day to day task of a software tester uh, let me tell you like how i am using it so for manual tasks i think test plan test cases bug reporting edge finding edge cases uh, giving clarity about the test strategy and a different documents processes test coverage right this is where the chat gpt can help you and how it is helping me i think email generation if i have to reply right i have to type some comments or politely i have to ask something through emails we generally hesitate right so i think you can use chat gpt to do that this is how we are basically leveraging right now for automation point of view i think code fixing code debug code help edge cases uh, automation coverage and learning the new concept this is how the chat gpt i am personally using i'm using copilot to write my code write for in rest assured i have used it i am using many many ai tools to be honest right now and they are happily assisting me and increasing my productivity overall if i would say suppose i was able to write two test cases per day or in automation now i can write easily three right this is how chat gpt or ai tools have helped me right now okay ashwini is asking when will the hiring will start i think soon enough soon enough we will have it please don't wait for specifically when it will start don't wait for it proper apply is important watch the resume review and linkedin hack free workshop i think this is important change your resume is personalized resume apply referrals this is one of the strategy that i have discussed in both of the free master classes it's a 2 3 hours of master classes make sure you join doing it okay how to get a freelancing projects in qa automation i think freelancing project easiest way i think uh, i have already shared uh, multiple websites i'm going to put a link also there somewhere you will find a link how to do a freelancing projects and what are the different websites are there right apart from this you can ask your friends if uh, they have some kind of uh, project which is available this is how i have started also okay by the way and you can do some internships or you can ask your friends and websites this is the only way where you can right now it is very difficult to get a freelancing project especially in automation or qa profile but it is possible okay this is what i have seen last question which is asked by the mayuk which is please explain the future of low code and no code automation see low code and no code is not new guys it is there for long time i have seen it when we have started working with api automation and selenium right there are a lot of tools which are available for low code and no code these are the basically tools which doesn't require much of the coding right but i think when you introduce coding right there are very very complex scenario that you can basically automate so low code and no, no code right it will be very very famous in small startups and company but if you are looking for big companies preferably more stable automation and all that definitely people will go towards rest assured selenium or bigger bigger open source projects they rely on it because they have a history almost like 10 years or uh, there is a selenium available right for rest assured i think 3 4 5 years it's there uh, so they rely on more stability so yeah because i have seen an example where people have basically learned about the some of the tools at tosca or something like this right and they are struggling right now to get into the automation or proper new jobs right because they are very specifically have learned those tools so please don't do that i would suggest learn them you can learn about no code tool or uh, low code tool whatever but again open source tools or which preferably add coding and all right you have to learn about them immediately okay i hope this helps thanks a lot these are the live code question and answers i have basically giving you if you have more questions let me know in the chat i will be definitely replying in the next video thanks for watching and if you are existing subscriber thanks for watching if you are new one consider like and subscribing to this python automation batch new is getting started this is going to be an amazing journey for 2 3 months we are going to basically cover python automation and we are going to become if you have a coding fear and all right i think it's a right opportunity to do live classes i'll see you in the live